Greetings beloved beings of light, I am Saint Germain. I come forth with a sense of peace which I share with you and surround you in. I invite you to inhale deeply and to hold that breath for as long as feels comfortable. Then I invite you to exhale, to exhale with meaning and purpose, and release a relaxation, a letting go within your being that serves you in opening your being more fully and connecting with yourself. I invite you to practice this, knowing that with each breath you exhale, you are releasing numerous things, energies, thoughts, wounds, emotions, that you may not even be aware of. You may not even be aware that you are holding on to them but through this practice, you can release them. We spoke last week about a purposeful decision. This is also a purposeful decision the purpose to let go of that which no longer serves you, without the need to know exactly what it is. So there is that sense of trust, trusting in the power within your being, trusting that there is a space within your being that is all-knowing, that can guide you through your reality, that can support you in making purposeful decision and that can support you in being of service to yourself, and to others. This technique that I share with you supports you in releasing illusions. Illusions are things that you hold on to that are not true, that are not born from the truth of your being. There are many ways to describe illusions. There may be illusions in the world around you however I, Saint Germain, am speaking of your own being and the illusions that you create. In many ways, when you create an opinion, especially if it is not born from your inner knowingness, that is an illusion. When you make a choice that is not born from the inner knowingness, that is also an illusion. When you perceive something in a way that is not born from your inner knowingness, that is also an illusion, and of course, when you perceive yourself in a way that is not born from your inner knowingness, that is an illusion. You can gather what I am sharing with you at this time, that often you hold on to illusions, things that are not born from or not created from your inner knowingness. When you begin to look at yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, the way that you act and react with people and with yourself, you'll begin to notice that there are multiple illusions that you are holding on to. With this realization can come shock, can also come judgment and fear a feeling that you may never connect with your own inner knowingness and live that reality on the earth, however again, it is an illusion because that is not the truth. We can recognize that this fear of not connecting with your inner knowingness and not bringing it into your reality, while it is an illusion, it is also your truth in this moment. If we can imagine your body, your being, your thoughts, your emotions, they have been programmed to work in a certain way. You have achieved some of that programming as have your carers as a child. The way that you work, there is a specific programming that you've adopted which means that when you have fear, or when you create an illusion, it is also actually your truth from the programming of your being, so it is something essential. It is something that requires your attention. The difference is that it doesn't require it to be held onto. You can set it free. You don't need to hold it in your space. We understand that your entire being is programmed in a certain way and so there is a need to reprogram your entire being. The way to reprogram your entire being is to connect more and more with your inner knowingness, that space of knowingness within your being, to bring it into your body or your aura or your emotions or your mind, to ask for its guidance and to sit in the space of your own inner knowingness. We recognize that these illusions created by your programming such as the fear of not knowing or living your inner knowingness that these are like stepping stones that direct you to your inner knowingness. They can open up your inner knowingness and allow you to experience it more fully. There is a need to accept the illusions that you have created, to accept that this is an essential aspect of your spiritual evolution and your connection with self, to recognize the illusions you've created and to sit in the space of knowingness within your being. An example of this you recognize a thought that you feel or you believe is not born from your inner knowingness and is actually born from a past experience or an opinion of yourself or others, or that you've given to yourself, or given to others. You can recognize this as what we might call, in this moment, an essential illusion. It is essential because it's a stepping stone to access in your inner knowingness. Then you can say to yourself, as I enter into my inner knowingness, as I connect or sit in my inner knowingness, I am willing to set this illusion free and I do so now. Then bring your attention to a space within your being. You may not know where that space is. 
you can simply ask to be guided to the space of inner knowingness within you, or you might want to sit in your heart in a space of love, or maybe you'll call upon your soul to be present, or your creator presence, whatever feels appropriate to you. Sit and breathe in that space of knowingness. You might want to affirm, I am my inner knowingness. I am my inner knowingness I am meaning the creator. The creator is my inner knowingness. You can ask yourself, what is the truth? What truth needs to come forward? What action needs to be taken? Sit with that. There is no pressure. It is not as if you have to achieve something. You can simply sit in your inner knowingness, and that is all that is needed. As you achieve this, you will find that your inner knowingness speaks to you more often, guides you, inspires you, or influences your feelings. This will allow you to be more open, more connected and more able to flow with your inner knowingness. With so much change occurring on the earth and within each being, connection with your inner knowingness is essential. The mind essentially cannot deal with the volume of change, even if you are not aware of the changes occurring. In many ways the mind cannot make decisions born from the past because they will not work out in the current energies of ascension. In many ways it is only the soul or the creator presence or your inner knowingness that can project creations, decisions, choices, even opinions into your reality and these may be completely different to what you mind wishes for, and yet they have this glowing nature or warmness, comfort or inspiration with them that allows you to know you are achieving what is guided from within. Many souls are wishing to connect, at a soul level, in the physical reality. This process that I have been speaking of, will support you and others in fulfilling that need of your soul or your creator essence or your inner knowingness, whatever label you wish to call it. That connection with self especially, and with others, from a purer state, is something that will really nurture and nourish your being, in many ways that are beyond your imagination or your mind. Many souls are wishing to connect, at a soul level, in the physical reality. This process that I have been speaking of, will support you and others in fulfilling that need of your soul or your creator essence or your inner knowingness, whatever label you wish to call it. That connection with self especially, and with others, from a purer state, is something that will really nurture and nourish your being, in many ways that are beyond your imagination or your mind. My love is with you eternally. I thank you. I am Saint Germain.